this tutorial is going to be a Visual Basic.net console application tutorial. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this text file and basically the, what the program is going to do is it's going to look and read all these words, display them in the console. And if you don't know what the console is, you'll, you'll see that shortly. Uh, and then what it's going to do is it's going to sort those words alphabetically, write them to a second file. Uh, then it's going to count how many words start with A, how many start with B, all the way through the alphabet and display in a third file there were X amount of A words, X amount of B words, etc. Now I got this idea from my son who's taken a, a, a Visual Basic class and he's he told me about the the program he's written and I've I do things a little different uh, I'm more of a C-sharp guy uh, nowadays although I have quite a bit of experience with Visual Basic uh, actually with basic language uh, period I've used some sort of some form of basic since around 1981 uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and this first tutorial we're just basically going to create the console application so if you don't have Visual Studio you can use uh, Visual Basic dot net uh, uh, the free edition the uh, Express edition uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna make a new project and this is actually Visual Basic console app and I'm just gonna call this uh, to call it the console sort application and I want to create a directory and say OK and it's going to go ahead and make my uh, Visual Basic module my whole project and we will be able to start coding right here OK now before I get started and before we actually start working on importing the text file uh, I want to talk a little bit about a time saver uh, and that would be importing namespaces into our code. If I wanted to use, and we are going to use uh, a class that resides in the system.io namespace that's called the stream reader class. To, that's gonna, that we're, stream reader and we're going to use the stream writer because we're reading and writing files. So if I wanted to declare a uh, stream reader object to use, I, I could start typing here dim, and we could give it a name, my reader, as, now I can't type stream reader because it's not going to know what that is. What I would have to do is I'd have to write system.io, which is input output, that's the namespace, and then we can use stream reader. Um, Yeah, let's not show that message again. So, if I needed to use this, uh, and then I would have to say equals new, blah, 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 whatever. What I want to do to keep me from having to type that every time I need to use an object from the system.io namespace is I can just import this by saying import system.io. Now, when I come down to start coding, if I wanted to declare uh, a reader, I can say dim my reader as a stream reader. And I could just type stream reader and it shows up in IntelliSense because I, it knows the name now because it's part of, we're using the system IO uh, namespace. Uh, this is not trying to teach about namespaces, about classes, about use objects, but it's just a good habit to get into uh, so you don't have to use the system, you don't have to type system.io over and over and over as you're using the classes within that namespace. So that being said, um, a couple other things. Now that I've created this uh, project, I can actually see the project in, uh, in my list of projects here. And I'm going to go ahead and go in there and I'm going to find the binary file, the debug file, because that's where that's how I'm going to write this. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that 
that text file into the folder that belongs to the debug the debugging you'll and it'll make more sense when we're actually running this thing but it's going to read it from within that folder that's how I'm going to reference it uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save this now and this will be the end of the first uh, first video in this series the next video what we're going to do is we're going to actually write the main uh, the main procedure for this thing and then what that is going to do is it's going to it's going to read that file and display the the words in the list as they appear in that text file into the console so see part two for that